Hi guys, welcome back to CJD Networking Tutorials. I'm Chris Devey. I'm going to be showing you today about standard access lists. So, a standard access list, what is it? Well, it's like a list that, uh, um, say, a bouncer on the door has a list of names that he lets into his club. If your name's not on that list, you're not coming in. So that's how an access list works. Very simple. Access lists also have a deny. So he might, that bouncer might have a list and it says on it, these people are banned from coming in. And uh, anyone else can come in apart from the people on the list that have been denied. So that's how an access list works. So instead of the uh, door of a club, um, we're talking about doors here of uh, of routers, i.e. interfaces. So in this example, uh, we've got two PCs here and we're gonna block one of them from getting to this server and we're going to allow this one to get to the server. So we're gonna block it on the interface here going outbound from the router. So that's like the door to the club. You know, it uh, it doesn't care where you're going to get to, who you're going to see inside the club. It's just not allowing you in the door. So with an extended access list, it's a bit different. You can actually specify end-to-end um, -end IPs of uh, where you're going to and when you're coming from. So in, in this example, um, an extended IP would say, Let's block from 192.168.0.10 to 192.168.1.100, but would allow you to uh, access any other IP on this subnet where the server resides. But with a standard access list, what we're doing here is not going to uh, allow you to specify that end server IP. It's just going to allow you to um, in or not in via the uh, interface here to that subnet. So what we're going to do is hop onto this router and configure that uh, access list. So first of all we'll do a show IP access lists and it's not coming back of anything so we know there's no list configured on that uh, router at the moment so let's go and create one so let's go into configure terminal mode we're going to do an IP access list it's a standard list and we're going to call it servers and we're going to permit the IP address of this of this uh, PC here so 192. 168.0.10. So this list now is going to um, allow that IP, and if it's not this IP, it will deny. So it's saying if your name is on the list, you're allowed in. If your name's not on the list, you'll be denied. So you can't see a deny here anywhere, but um, it's an explicit deny. It's hidden and it will automatically assume that you can't come in if you're not on the list. Now we need to assign that list to a door, to an interface. So we want it to be on the outbound interface of the router here. So let's go in and configure that. So if we go to, um, interface FA01 and we're going to say IP access list or IP access group standard sorry IP access group and then the name of it server servers and we want it to be outbound so now we have actually configured that interface sorry that ACL to that interface um, if we don't do that then the ACL will do nothing So now we've uh, allowed that, 
let's go in and give it a go. So, command prompt, and we're going to ping the server's IP, and we're getting a reply, which is good. On this other one here, however, let's do a ping, we're getting a destination host unreachable. So we can see that uh, the I this IP of this host is not matching on the list, so it uh, just blocks it. So let's go back to the router. Let's do another show access list. And you can see there's four matches here. So that's the four pings sent by the first server, sorry, first PC to the server, um, and it's matched that ACR. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do a deny. Uh, so we've seen how how a an allow IP works, but now let's block an IP. So we'll go into the access list again. So IP access list standard servers, and we are going to do a deny. Actually, we'll do a no permit host 192.168.0.10, and then we're going to do a deny host 192.168.0.10. Now, what happens on this list is that uh, it will just deny everything because it will do the deny this host and then it will get to the end of the list and just deny everything. So we need to put an allow on there to say let's allow anything that is not denied. So permit any. So let me do a do show access list. The do command means that you don't have to exit the uh, config um, from every time you want to run a command. So let's do a do show access list and we can see on here that, that we're going, this time we're going to deny that uh, host and we're going to permit anything else apart from that. So this time, this server, sorry, this uh, PC should now be unreachable to the server. And this one here will be allowed. So it's the other way around this time. So now if I do a do show access list again, there's four matches there for the deny of that uh, PC. So Finally, I just want to talk about uh, denying actual subnet addresses or multiple addresses as opposed to um, just an individual host. So this is a bit insecure really, permitting anything. So we just want to narrow it down to um, the subnet that uh, it resides in. So let's go back into the access list by going into uh, IP access list standard servers and then we're going to do a no permit any and then we are going to do a permit 192.168.0.0 so that, that's the uh, network address and what we need to do is now put a wildcard mask in and this wildcard mask will allow the hosts in the network so it works back to front to a subnet really um, to a subnet mask uh, so instead of a 255 255 2550 um, we are going to do 0 .0 .0 255. We'll talk about uh, wildcard masks in another video, but uh, for now, um, what this will do is will allow all the hosts that reside in the last octet of that subnet. So uh, anything really from dot one 
to 254, allowing 255 to be the broadcast address and uh, zero is the uh, network address. So we're allowing uh, 254 hosts from that subnet permitted across that ACR. So now let's just go back out of there to the uh, privilege mode with the hash and do a show IP interface, sorry, a show IP access lists. Um, and we can see on there now that uh, it's going to deny that host still, but it's going to permit anything on that subnet. But anything on a different subnet, it's not going to have anything of it. So that is it really. So let's just do a little ping here. We can see that, that could be pinged. This cannot ping the server. And remember that the access list just needs to be assigned to an interface to uh, make it work. So if we did a show run quickly, scroll down, you've got your access list here. And then on the interface here, you've got this IP access group servers out where the access list is applied to that interface. So that's it really with standard access lists. Um, hope uh, it was clear and um, you enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to speaking to you next time. Cheers.